Hey guys, before we get started on today's number story, we're going to do some fact power. And so I showed you fact power cards the other day, and they were the sums of 10 and the differences of 10. And today I have some missing add-ins. So we're going to look at the number sentence, and I'm going to show you how to figure this out. So we have 10 take away something equals 9. So what number goes with 9 to make 10? 1, yeah. 5 plus something equals 10. So think, what goes with 5 to make 10? 10 take away something equals 6. What goes with 6 to make 10? 4. Use those fingers if you need help. 10 take away something equals 7. What goes with 7 to make 10? 3. 4 plus something equals 10. 6. Yeah, 6 and 4 make 10. 1 plus something equals 10. 1 and 9 make 10. Good work. 3 plus something equals 10. What goes with 3 to make 10? 7, right? 10 take away something equals 5. What number goes with 5? 5 and 5 make 10. 10 take away something equals 2. Yeah, 8. 10 take away 8 equals 2. 2 plus something equals 10. 2 plus 8 equals 10. Good job, guys. 10 take away something equals 3. 7. Yeah, 7 goes with 3. What number plus 9 equals 10? 1. Yeah, 1 and 9 make 10. What number goes with 5 to make 10? 5 and 5 make 10. What number plus 6 equals 10? We got it. 4 plus 6 equals 10. 10 take away something equals 10. If I have 10 and I start with 10 and I still have 10, I took away 0. 10 take away something equals 1. What number goes with 1 to make 10? Yeah, nine, good work. 10 take away something equals four. What number goes with four to make 10? Yeah, six, good job guys, you're getting all of these. What number goes with seven to make 10? Three plus seven equals 10, great job. Something plus eight equals 10. Two plus eight equals 10, last one. 10 take away something equals eight. 10 take away 2 equals 8, because 2 and 8 go together to make 10. So the friends of 10, we're going to keep practicing those flashcards. All right, today's number story, I made some tens frames. There were 51 fish swimming in the ocean. Then a shark ate 28 fish. How many fish are still swimming? I'm going to read it again. There were 51 fish swimming in the ocean. Then a shark ate 28 fish. How many fish are still swimming? So I'm going to use some tens frames to make my picture. You might want to try that strategy too, because 51 is a really big number, and I want to make it an organized picture so I can use it to count. All right, if I make 51 on my tens frames, I've got 10 tens, I mean five tens frames. Let me fill them all in with 10. There's five groups of 10 for 51. 20, 30, 40, 50, 51. So those are all of the fish. 51 fish. And a shark came by, he ate 28 fish about a big shark or maybe they're little fish. So I'm going to cross off 28. They're not there anymore. They're in the shark's belly. 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. That means I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23 left. So 
I started at 51. I took away 28. And that means I have 23 left. I'm using subtraction to figure out this problem. If you wanted to try a snap cube picture, take a look at the snap cube picture. We can draw 51, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51. But now it gets a little tricky because we want to try to take 28 away. So I can take out the 20, 10, 20, but I don't have eight by themselves. So I'm going to take this one, make it into 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm regrouping this, so that's not there anymore. Now they're ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So what did I just do? 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So here's my 51. I'm taking them away. 10, 20, 8. So I gotta take away 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And here's my 23. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Starting with 51, taking 28 away would leave us 23 left. There are 23 fish left. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.